Today, we're gonna to deep dive into the heart of entrepreneurial success. If you've ever wondered what truly sets successful entrepreneurs apart, this video is for you. Hey there, everyone. I'm Krista Mayshore. For those of you who don't know me, well, guess what? Now you do. <laughs> I started a coaching company just six years ago that has now made over $51 million in contracted revenue. This channel is going to be dedicated to teach you how to become an eight-figure earner just like me. And let's kick things off by addressing a fundamental truth. The success of every business is primarily determined by the entrepreneur. It's not the business model, not the market opportunity, but you. As an entrepreneur, you are the heartbeat, the driving force. Every decision, every action, and every thought you directly have shapes your business's trajectory. If your business is flopping, don't blame your employees, blame yourself. Everything starts from here and rolls down. Now let's deep dive into the very essence of an entrepreneur. If we are to dissect the DNA of a successful entrepreneur, we'd find three core components, skills, character traits, and beliefs. Let's break these down. Skills are the tangible abilities you've honed in on over time. They're the tools in your entrepreneurial toolkit. Whether it's sales, marketing, leadership, or any other domain, these skills are often acquired through education, experience, and continuous learnings. Mastery is repetition. The more you learn and apply, the more you will become the person you wanna be. Now, when it comes to character traits, these are actually inherent qualities that define who you are as a person and how you approach challenges. Traits like discipline, focus, patience, empathy, and drive, which I've learned you cannot teach drive. They are the backbone of your entrepreneurial spirit. For example, having the discipline to work on your venture consistently, the focus to stay on course, even with distractions, and when you make mistakes, to continue to drive and push you through hard times. These are the key traits that make a successful entrepreneur. And lastly, but certainly not least, is belief, which I believe is the most important. Beliefs are the internal beliefs that you have about the world, about business, and about yourself. They can be empowering or limiting. For instance, if you believe that every failure is a stepping stone to success, you're more likely to preserve through challenges. On the other hand, if you believe that opportunities are scarce, you might hesitate to take risks. You need to also have the belief in yourself and in your clients and in your product and in your service. If you don't believe in your high ticket offer, why would anybody else want to buy it? It is essential to recognize and challenge these beliefs, especially those that hold you back. Think of them as the mental framework that influences every single decision that you make. The importance of beliefs, let me tell you something, it's so important because our beliefs are the lenses through what we view the world. They can either propel us to new heights or they can keep us grounded. To sell a high ticket offer, you need to have a product or service that actually works. When I have my three day virtual events, I am constantly seeding belief into my attendees because I know that my product generally works and it's gonna help them get wherever it is they want to go. Having belief in yourself and your product or service is going to help you sell more. Think about it. Can you smell a crappy sales pitch from a mile away? Of course you can. When you have a product that actually works, you're not giving them a pitch. You are giving them what I call a life-changing, irresistible offer. It is imperative that you believe in yourself and your product. It's also imperative that you see that same belief to your attendees constantly throughout your entire webinar or virtual event or VSL. Some beliefs empower while others limit. It's up to you to get them to say yes to themselves. Now I wanna stress the value of continuous learning. In this entrepreneur world, learning is your superpower, but implementing what you're learning. From Google searches to workshops, masterminds, and mentorships, every bit of knowledge is a brick in your business foundation. I've personally invested over $1.2 million in workshops, seminars, coaching programs, mentors, even one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And guess what? I would spend that $1.2 million again and again because it gets me closer to my goals. You might think I'm crazy, but you probably find that most successful entrepreneurs, they invest in their coaching and their education. I tell people to learn from someone that has done the thing that you are trying to do. And I stand by this always. Let me give you an example. When I was in real estate, it took me a whole year to make a million dollars. But once I hired a coach who has done the things I wanted to do, I did it within 11 months. I am now doing million dollar months consecutively over the past 33 months. When you hire the right coach, you can literally collapse time frames and fast track your success. A successful entrepreneur is always looking for ways to improve and ways to learn more. Now, what else? Character traits as the foundation. While skills and beliefs are crucial, it is your character traits that lay the foundation in your success. If you aren't resilient, 
disciplined and open-minded, you will find it a lot harder to be successful when selling high ticket offers. It is so important that you are resilient. The definition of resilient is the ability to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. When you are running webinars or VSL or online events, you are bound to run into issues along the way. So it's imperative that you can easily bounce back from these challenges and you aren't letting them drag you down for a long time. You get back up. Being resilient also kind of goes hand in hand with being disciplined. When you run into roadblocks, it is crucial that you keep your cool and react with a professional manner, not letting self-interest or wants affect the decision at hand. Remember, you are the CEO of the company, and if you can't keep your cool, your employees probably can't either. And lastly, you need to be open-minded. Listen to other people's ideas and ask for constructive improvements. If you can't listen to complaints or opinions, of your webinars or online events, you're never going to get better. Every time you have a webinar or an event or something, you should be changing one small aspect based on what people said in the comments. The stay rate, the conversion rate. If you think you have the most perfect webinar or the most perfect event, that will never need to change. I can promise you, you're incorrect and the closed-minded mindset will end up being your downfall. Now in conclusion, to wrap up, I want you to remember this. Your entrepreneurial journey is shaped by your skills, beliefs and character traits. Nurture them, challenge them, and let them be your guiding stars. The road may be difficult, but with the right mindset, anything is possible. If this deep dive resonated with you, do me a favor, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights. Send it to people on your list. Until next time, keep pushing boundaries and staying inspired. If you wanna learn more about this, do me a favor, click the link somewhere on this page and sign up for our three-day virtual Unstoppable Agent Mastery class. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.